So today I'm going to hopefully show you guys what larger brushes are good at, at least in my opinion, and that is bouncy cartoony inking. So I have a larger scale cartoony drawing right here, and I'm going to try, try being the optimal word, try to really push the line art. Now, unfortunately, my inking space is limited and you really do want to have lots of room to work. And you also don't want to work in a spiral bound sketchbook. But I'm trying to work my way through the Inktober supplies that I paid for in my Art Snacks Inktober box. So I'm going to use the Denik notebook they sent regardless of how I feel about it personally. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this Princeton Kalinsky Sable 7 um, 7050R, um, and that was also sent in the Art Snacks Inktober. And I apologize for my camera setup. It is really suboptimal, but I'm going to do the best I can with it. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in. Now, one of the nice things about these larger brushes is you can lay down really thick lines. And that is great for more, more cartoony illustration because it gives this sort of look of dynamism. Of course, those stupid spirals are going to get in the way and wreck your line. So you're going to want to rotate your notebook away from them. And this would probably look really cute if I could get a dry brush effect, but unfortunately the Denik paper is, um, it's basically like a cardstock and um, there's just no tooth to it. Now when you're laying down this much ink, it will take a while for the ink to dry. So you may have to step away. And inking over those spirals really wrecks my flow. What's ideal, what I prefer when it comes to these sort of things is top bound spiral notebooks if we have to do spirals or tape bound where you can just take the pages out. That's my personal preference. All right, so I've got some pooled ink, so I need to step away from this for a few minutes and let that dry, lest it smear all over the place. All right, so that layer of ink has dried. We can now continue to make progress. Anyway, that's where larger uh, brush sizes really excel is A, larger pieces and B, bouncy dynamic inking. And for something like this, you really want to avoid notebooks that are spiral bound, especially if those spirals are going to get in the way of your hands. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found that helpful. I hope you found it inspiring. Um, for those of you who are following along at home with your own Inktober uh, Art Snacks boxes, I hope that maybe um, this demonstration sort of gave you an idea where you can use your kind of large uh, size for Princeton Kalinsky Sable. 
If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to them, try to help you guys out. And if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to leave a like. That lets uh, YouTube know that you find this sort of content valuable. If you haven't yet, why don't you consider subscribing for even more great art content? We update at least twice a week. Um, if we're trying to accomplish something like I am here with these Inktober posts, trying to get you guys ready for October, um, we do tend to post more often and we do all sorts of art related goodness like tutorials reviews tips tricks demonstrations unboxings pretty much anything related to comic art other than actually reviewing comics we will cover at some point I'm sure if you are a comics enthusiast we also interview artists so please check out our backlog to see who we've talked to you might be surprised we've gotten some really cool interviews over the years if you enjoy stuff like this and you just can't get enough head on over to my blog natosoup.blogspot.com because there is seven years worth of arty goodness especially when it comes to inking i was blogging a whole lot about inking when i was taking my advanced inking techniques class at scad so you might find something you didn't know before um if you want to help make more content like this possible there's a couple ways you can do that you can subscribe increasing my subscriber count you can hit like on the videos that you enjoy letting me know what i should focus on you can share this video to your social networks using those social network sharing buttons below your share to facebook twitter tumblr and uh, pinterest means a lot it really helps me out in a big way money cannot buy you legitimate fans uh so you taking a moment to do that is a massive favor to me and it really means a lot to me and it encourages me to keep going in a way that um it's hard to express especially when you're you're feeling down and you're looking at your subs or you're looking at your page views and you're just like, I've been doing this for a really long time. I should be somewhere further than this. Um, people taking a moment of their lives to share something they enjoy with their friends and family can really be the spark you need to keep you going. Another way you can help is financially. You can head on over to the Patreon and join the Nata Soup Studio community. They get... Um, weekly newsletters that combine everything together they get monthly backer requests live streams they get um access to my comic backlog and right now they have access to um the photoshop assets that i've made so if that kind of stuff sounds good to you or you just want to help me make more content like that joining the patreon is a great way to do it so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. As always, it's a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys again really soon. I'm Becca Hilburn from Nato Soup Studios. I'll see y'all around. Bye, art nerds.